I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, we're going to force hands. I have a strip for each category on the card. We're going to pre-select the categories and force hands in these categories. I like to do this because I play in tournaments and in tournaments, they pre-select categories and give away prizes. Let's see if we can get a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. The first one, we're going to be the dealer, also known as East. We'll get 14 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. The next one will be non-dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles. And then the last one will be the dealer again and get 14 tiles. We have a joker, an east, a red dragon. Then we have dots, one, five, seven, nine. Pair of twos, four, five, nine, and bams. Then we have a four crack and a seven crack. So if these were your tiles, which of these would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force odds. You might think, why not do evens? We have no sixes and no eights. With odds, we've got a lot of big odds. We might even be able to use that dragon. Let's pass these three. We got an odd. Let's pass these. We've got a dragon. And we have tiles to pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. We have an odd. Two tiles to pass. Now we pick a hand or whittle. I think we should focus on big odds. Five, seven, nine. I wouldn't pick a hand, but there is one that we could play. Five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. We have no seven bam though, so I wouldn't pick a hand yet. Let's pass. Let's see. I don't want to pass like numbers. Let's pass these three. There's another one. Maybe we'll get it back. Let's keep it. Let's pass these three. Nine ma'am and a dragon. We'll keep it. We have two tiles. Let's give up the one. Nine, keep it, two tiles, nines, dragons, five, seven, seven, nine, dragon, I think I would still keep all the big odds maybe give up on the dragon so we can do optional full optional so 
also discards. Five, seven, nine, big odds, I'd keep it all. And I wouldn't pick a hand. I would just continue to gather. Three discards, big odds, no gaps, but we have work to do. Which happens if you're forcing a hand? We've got options. We're going to force Quince and 2468. This time we're non dealer, so I'll get 13 tiles. Jokers, Flower, Pair Vs, 369 in Bams, 7.2458 in Cracks. If these were your tiles, which would you force and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force a quint and a backup for evens. If the quint doesn't come in. Let's pass these. Oh, we let a five go. Okay, here's a four, a six, and a five. Two, four, eight, flower. There's a 2468 hand with dragons. I was thinking about that five. Let's focus on one suit. Pass these. It's a little risky. One suit. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. I would definitely try to force this quint. Okay, so. Let's keep edge tiles. Let's see, there's a four. We gotta be smart here. The five crack, who knows if we'll get it back. Let's give it up. We'll keep lucky seven. Let's give up an eight, five, eight. Oh my goodness, look at what we got. White dragon. Six, one. Let's just pass what feels right. No keepers. We're forcing a quint. Let's keep it going. The six dot. Let's keep the six dot. Maybe we'll get it back. We'll get it in the Charleston. Let's see. Let's pass these three. Okay. None of these were going around. I don't remember if a five bam. I think it was a five dot. Let's keep it. Oh, no. We need tiles to pass. Let's pass one of each suit. Oh, we didn't get any. We didn't get any keepers. Okay, so what I would do here is I would hold the number tiles. I would play flowers east and then the number tiles. I would hold this for joker bait, discard that first. Whatever tile goes down in discards or exposures, I would discard those and keep fresh tiles to pair up and play a quint.
we got work to do there. Okay, now we're going to force 2, 4, 6, 8. We're going to force two, four, six, eight. Here's two, four, and a six. So we're going to keep these sixes. Let's just keep the red because there's a two, four, six, eight with the matching dragon. So let's pass. Ooh. Let's see. Let's pass these three. We need two, four, six, eight. There's an eight and a six. We're just going to keep them all and we won't pick a hand till we run out of discards. There's a four and an eight. We still have discards. Let's give up the red. I don't like passing white dragons. They're very valuable because they can be used as a dragon or a year tile. Oh my goodness, look what we got. Okay, two, four, six, eight. We've got a red, a green dragon, white dragons, but look at all these two, four, six, eight. Right across the left, two, four, six, eight. I would build around the multiples. Two, four, six, eight. Or two, four, six, eight. Let's break these up. Nothing got broken up really. Well, we broke up the two, four, six, eight. We'll just pass these. Woo, we got an eight crack. Eight bam, two, two, four, six, eight. So now we have a two dot, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight, second hand down, or two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We don't have any flowers though. Since we don't have flowers, let's go with two, four, six, eight. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. We have no six crack. If we had flowers, I might want to play two, four, six, eight, but we have a gap. No six cracks and no flowers. Let's break these up. There's a two. Ooh, we got a flower. Now that we broke everything up, Let's just keep that. Oh, look, we got a two. So we have two, four, six, eight is still the strongest, I think. Let's pass these. Two, four, six, eight. We can pass these. We got an eight and a six. I'd keep it all. Two, four, six, eight. Second hand down, pung, kong, pung, kong. But I would keep all the two, four, six, eight, including the flower, for as long as I can. Stay concealed for as long as possible. Discard that first. See if we can hold on to these. Probably play the second hand down. Two, 
I think that's what I would do. It would take work, but it's doable. If you liked playing tournaments, you could come home with a prize. If you practice forcing hands, give it a try if you have a set at home and let me know if you come home a winner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.